What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna make this awesome write on effect in LumaFusion. So I was actually inside Affinity Photo. Affinity Photo is uh, an app just like um, Photoshop, but it is for the iPad Pro only. Probably works for other iPads as well, which is not the Pro version. Um, but yeah, I was inside Affinity Photo and I was playing around with the brushes and uh, I figured maybe, maybe I can do a screen record, do some typing with the brush and I can add a black background to it and then go into LumaFusion, add a Luma key and remove that black background and just keep the text. And I succeeded, it worked and it turned out to be really, really awesome. So I'm gonna show you guys how you can make this super cool effect in LumaFusion using the Affinity Photo app, but you can also use other apps, but it has to be an app where you can type in uh, with the pencil or with your finger you can like type the text and you have to screen record but I highly recommend using Affinity Photo if you're into filming and uh, editing photos and all that because it's just the perfect app. Enough talk, let's get into LumaFusion and make that awesome write on effect. So we're gonna start by going into Affinity Photo. Once we get in there, we're gonna tap on the big plus sign at the bottom left, and we're gonna go into New Document. And press OK, and you will see this white layer appears, and we're gonna go to the top right where there's a bunch of layers, and we're gonna tap on the plus sign, then we go to New Fill Layer, and we're gonna change the background to black. So. If you have a dark image, you will have to use a black color. If you have a light clip, you can use white. If you have a yellow clip, you can use yellow. So the background has to fit the color of your footage, because this will actually remove the rough edges, which you probably saw in this video. Uh, I forgot to do that, but make sure to change the color of the background to the color of your clip. This is really important if you want this smooth right on effect. Let's move on to the brushes. We find the desired brush that we want to use. Let's use uh, this one. So now is the time to start your screen record. And once you started your screen record, you can just type whatever you want to type. Once you're done with typing your text, only thing you have to do is to stop the screen record. And then we go over to LumaFusion and we find the desired clip that we want to use. I'm gonna use this clip from Hawaii, which is a sunset at the Sunset Beach. And as always, I'm gonna detach the sound and I'm gonna slow it down a little bit and I'm gonna trim it. And once we've done that, we find the screen recording clip uh, where we had the write-on text and we trim it down to from where it starts to where it ends. And we drag that down to our timeline. And now we double tap on that clip with the write on text and we can speed it up if you want to depending on how fast you were typing while you were screen recording and you can just increase the speed or you can slow it down depending on what you want and uh, once we have done that we double tap on the clip again and we go to cropping and now we're going to crop everything in so it's only the text and uh, a small area of, of blackness which is uh, visible and once we've done that, we can go to size and position and we can scale it in or out depending on what you want. And I'm just going to add a keyframe at the beginning and at the start because I want to make a motion graphic uh, look to this type on effect. And once we've done that, we go over to uh, color and effects and we go to the keyhole at the top right and we click on dark luma key. This will automatically remove the black layer behind the text. And you see that there's some rough edges around uh, the text, which I was talking about previously. And uh, so we have to remove these or try to make the best out of it. So we're gonna go to color and we're gonna choose the original color profile. We're gonna bump the brightness up to maximum and decrease the contrast a little bit. So that looks a lot better right away. So I think we're done. 
and let's check it out once more and see how good it turned out to be. Let me know what you think of this tutorial in the description below and uh, I want to do a shout out as well so if you want a shout out which is a shout out in the video and in the description below on a future video uh, click on the bell and type that you smash that bell and also if you want to consider making a donation to help me improve my videos I have a PayPal me linked in the description below so it doesn't matter how big or small the amount is, everything will be appreciated. And if you decide to make a donation, make sure to leave your channel in the comment there and the, or your name and you will get a shout out for, for that as well. That's everything for today guys. I hope you enjoyed this write on effect in LumaFusion. And if you like what I do and if you like this tutorial, uh, please consider subscribing to my channel, smash the bell and give this video a big thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!